up to any of that. Uh, I've been lucky in my career to, to go back to where I was born and raised on the farm in Iowa and manage wildlife. I was a, a pheasant and quail biologist for a couple of years, worked with turkeys, and then got into the deer program. And, uh, it was probably my dream job, so I understand Dave's reluctance because two years ago I moved in administration <coughs> because of my partner here. Uh, I, I just want to talk about deer management from an Iowa perspective and, and you have to understand it's an Iowa perspective. Our traditions and history have really driven and, and facilitate where we are today because of where we started. And we started back in, in the 1950s. We had our very first deer season because there were too darn many deer the farmers and we couldn't tolerate having that many deer so um, and we killed a whole 4,000 deer that year. so it's, it's changed so deer management in Iowa has very little to do with the biology of the deer as far as meeting their nutritional requirements Iowa is the bread basket of the world we have plenty of food we don't have severe winters like you all do we don't have severe droughts like the south it's a social thing how many deer can we eat we tolerate, there, there's some consideration for habitat. I'm not saying the deer don't impact their habitats. They do, and they can, if not checked, by hunting. And we have those kind of problems in our state parks and urban areas. But agriculture drives deer in Iowa, basically. How do we manage deer? Hunting's our management tool, plain and simple. Uh, we've got a variety of different seasons, and that's one of the things that we've done uh, over my tenure is to try to address situations by offering hunters opportunities rather than require them to do things that they want to do is try to find ways to give them an option of doing something that they would prefer to do. And so we've added different seasons, expanded seasons and opportunities as populations have expanded. Um, there's always that fine line to, to walk with not stepping on somebody else's toes, and that's probably the hardest thing that we had to overcome sometimes. And once you get a season entrenched, uh, getting it entrenched can be really difficult, but after that, it's, it's, people become very protective of the seasons. Um, originally, we just had one shotgun season and one archery season, and we had that for almost 30 years. And we added a second shotgun season because Back in 1976, there were too many shotgun hunters and it wasn't safe, so we had to have two seasons. So, uh, we've got more hunters now than we had in, 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 in one of our seasons than we had almost twice as many as we had in that one season at that time. We've added muzzleloader seasons, youth season, and some bonus antler seasons, which are really how we manage our deer population on antlers, deer hard. We use a county by county management system. We set a, a quota for antlerless tags, and these antlerless tags can be used in whatever seasons are available. Uh, plus, then we provide some bonus antlerless seasons in the southern part of the state, in that gray shaded area. All the shaded area have a, a November and January antlerless seasons. Um, and then the dark gray is a thing we started three years ago to allow. Uh, antlers harvest with center fired rifles, which isn't what we do in Iowa traditionally. And it was met with a lot of resistance, but now we're getting um, some of those counties down there, half the deer are killed in that January antler season with high fired rifles. So it's, it's working to, to get an antler's harvest. So you can see that it, it does drive the, the Regulations drive the harvest very, very effectively, and our, our hunters have always been willing to shoot antlers deer. We're not a, a state that's like Pennsylvania developed a tradition of buck hunting. We did have buck tags, um, but we also had any sex deer tags. <coughs> and when I grew up, those any sex deer tags were the value tag. The bucks tags, everybody could get one, but if you had an any sex, which then was called a doe tag, you were invited to hunt with parties. Oh, that's how I got my very first invitation to go hunting because I drew an any sex tag. So you can come with us. <laughs> <laughs> so now the any sex tags are called the buck tags. So it's changed all the way around. Percent does were over 50%. Um, we're really targeting the southern third and the eastern third of Iowa with our with our dollars. 
and, and we're getting it done for the most part. Uh, we still have the state parks and urban deer management issues that uh, take a lot of work with special hunts and, and, and are challenging. 